Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going back to my roots, my makeup artistry roots. I was sitting thinking about what to film. I realised that there's a couple of things that I do with my makeup now that I think completely change my face, that completely change my makeup, and I thought I would share those with you guys. I am going to show you five tips and tricks to completely change your makeup. So I'm half done because these five tricks that I've written down, they, it's not applied to my base really. And I think we should just get started. So what I'm gonna do is on this side of my face, I'm gonna show you another way to do it that maybe isn't quite what I want to show you guys, but it's maybe a more kind of bog standard way to do makeup. And it's definitely how I used to do my makeup. You can do whatever you like with your makeup, okay? Don't let anyone tell you what to do, but these things I think make a really big difference. So the first thing I'm gonna show you is bronzer and blush placement and how that can change your face, okay? So I'm gonna go in with a bronzer. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer. I really love it. And I'm gonna show you how I maybe used to do it. So I'm gonna go in with a big fluffy brush and I pretty much used to go around my forehead and then I would just, you know, bronze here and then I would bronze my neck. I always got taught when I worked on makeup counters, the first counter I worked on, that you do a three shape. Okay, so you can see I'm just kind of bronze, that's fine. Going on my cheeks and under my chin, okay? Okay, and I'm gonna go ahead and apply my blush now as well. For my blush, I'm gonna go in with Charlotte Tilbury again. This is the Cheek to Chic blush in Love is the Drug. So it's quite a, quite a pink. Everyone kind of just thinks that you apply it to your cheeks, right? So I'm gonna go in with a classic kind of blush brush and I'm gonna swirl that around and then I'm gonna just apply it to my apples, my cheeks. Oh, that's quite a little blush. So I'm gonna just blend that out. This is a really standard way to do makeup. You do your three shape for your bronzer and then you pat your blush on. Okay, I'm gonna show you how I can lift and define my face with bronzer now. So this is, this is bronze, you know, there's a bit of color in my skin, that's fine, but what I want to do is lift everything up. So I'm gonna go in with a slightly more dense brush. This is my Smith 118. I'm gonna go in with the bronzer again and this time I'm gonna be a lot more precise. So I'm gonna start on my cheekbone and I'm gonna keep it super high. Working into the temples, I love making my bronzer meet my eyeshadow. I'm basically working just really high up. Over here you can see I've got bronzer down here. That's doing nothing for my face. So I'm gonna keep it nice and high. And then I'm still gonna bronze my forehead, but again, I'm gonna keep it quite high. And I think less is more. Can you believe that I'm saying that out loud? Less is more, guys. I've already got highlight and all my base on, my foundation, my powder, etc. So it's just going on super smooth. But you can see that's giving me a slight contour, but because it's bronzer, it's, it's a bit warmer. And then I'm gonna make, I always make the same face when I do bronzer, I'm gonna make this face. Perfect, and then for my jaw, I'm not gonna push it, I'm not gonna put it here. I'm gonna go underneath my jaw a little bit more. And it's funny, because these five tips, you know, it's not like one side's gonna look absolutely terrible and the other side's gonna look phenomenal. It's really subtle, but it so works. I'm gonna go under my jaw. And can you see that? Lift. Okay, for blush, I'm gonna go in with the same brush. I'm gonna go in, probably with a similar amount, too much. And then instead of applying right here, I'm gonna go on top of my bronzer. And then I'm gonna gently bring it onto the top of the face. Obviously, there's abs there is no way, there's no wrong way to do makeup. I love putting blush right across my nose, but this, I just think, is so flattering. And again, we're wanting that lift and sculpting, like shape in the face. Can you see the difference? It's quite cool, isn't it? I'm gonna put a wee touch on my nose because I love it. So we've actually used a really similar amount of product, but here it's just kind of all over the place a little bit. You know, it's okay. But here, we're lifted, we're youthful stunning. So that is a really simple way to change the shape of your face using your bronzer and your blush. Okay, moving on. Next step is liner. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you in. So this is really cool. If you've watched any of my videos before or kind of seen, you know, the odd selfie, you might already know this one. It's liner. So we're gonna go in with our liner. I like a felt tip liner. So I'm gonna go in with the It Cosmetics Superhero Liner. This is just a really nice brush tip eyeliner. I'm gonna show you how I used to do my eyeliner. So I absolutely, I used to do this all the time. Kind of before I really knew my own face, if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a bog standard winged liner. So I'm gonna start in here. I used to do my liner like this every day and there's absolutely 
nothing wrong with it. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not trying to like make one side of my face look shit, like I said. So there we go. I have quite round eyes, so this accentuates the roundness of my eyes, and I speak about it all the time, but I love the look of a really nice pulled out almond shaped eye. So that's what I'm gonna do. So this is how I used to do my liner. What I would do is follow my lash line from the inner corner the whole way along, I would go quite round on the top, bring it down and do a flick. But when I look straight ahead, you can see it kind of drags my eye down a little bit. So I'm gonna show you how I do it now. I like to kind of do my wings a little bit more straight out these days. So I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna go There we go, so there's the start, it's a bit wobbly, don't worry about it. And then I'm going to do a half liner. So I'm going to start halfway across my eye and then I'm going to pull that back. Now it might take you a little bit of practice just to change the shape, like change the way that you do eyeliner because it took, it definitely took me ages. But if I look into my mirror and then if I look straight, you can see that instead of going right into my inner corner and doing it really round, I'm starting halfway along the eye and I'm dragging it straight out. So when I look like this, you can see that this eye kind of goes down and back up. This eye is just getting pulled out. And the difference with this one, you can really tell when your makeup's finished. So moving on to the next section, lashes. So let me just pop a wee bit of mascara on. I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty Legit Lashes. I'm gonna use the curl and length side. So I'm going to just pop a wee bit of mascara on my top lashes just now. And again there's absolutely nothing wrong and a lot of eye shapes really suit this wing and you guys might prefer it. Uh, this is all personal preference but I just really love the way my eyes look when I really pull, pull them out. It's a bit like it's a bit more bitchy. Does that make sense? This is she's friendly. Oh she's nice. She's bad. <laughs> she's babbage. And loads of these tricks are so universal, they'll work for everyone, which I, which I really love. So I've got a touch of mascara on my lashes, that's all I need. And we're gonna go in with some falsies. So these are the Tati Lashes TL4 Faux Me. So they're the full version of the TL4s. Again, if you know me well, you'll know this trick already, but it's one of my most favorites. It completely changes the shape of your eyes. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna apply lashes again, like I used to. Nothing wrong with it at all, and a lot of people really suit it. And I actually do. I like it from time to time. It's just one of the most transformative things with makeup, I think. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna trim these lashes. So I've just cut them off so, so it fits my eye. I wear lashes all the time, so I, I kinda know what size I need to cut them to. And I'm gonna glue them up. Uh, a little trick for you guys if you struggle to apply your false lashes, once they're glued on, you can just set them on your liner or where you're gonna apply and then let that dry. And then the glue kinda sticks to the glue. It's, re it's a really nice, easy way to do your lashes and this lash pretty much fits my whole eye and then again I let it dry a little bit and then I'm going to give it a squeeze. There we go. So I used to wear lashes like this every day. Love them. think they're great. But on the other eye we're going to do the famous half lash. Half lashes have changed my life. By half lash I genuinely mean you're going to cut your lash in half. So here's my, here's my eyelash. For this eye I cut off two little clusters but for the other eye I'm going to literally cut it in half. So all you're left with is this little gadget, this little sprig, little sprig of lash. And again, we're gonna glue it up. My favorite glue is the, the dual glue, the green glue, so good. The beauty of the half lash is you can do it with any pair of lashes. These are quite full. I love a fuller half lash. You can do whatever you like, guys. There's a theme, there's a general theme in my channel here, and it's do whatever you want, whatever you want. And not only does it completely change your eye shape, it's very like, it's a very flirty eye, it's a very doe, doe like eye, you know, bat your lashes. It's so easy because it's just a half lash, you, you can almost just stick it to the end. And I like to do it pretty close to the end of my eye, I guess, and I just need to give them a squeeze. Do you know the only thing I don't like about these style of videos is I need to like go and fix my makeup after. <laughs> okay, so if you see the difference, this eye looks, is quite heavy, so what it does is it drags my eye down a little bit. It also accentuates, again, the natural roundness of my eyes, whereas this eye looks longer, it looks more feline, and it's actually, it's a bit more natural as well, I suppose, which is, there's a time and a place for natural makeup. Yeah, it's just, it's one of my most favourite tricks, and it's something that I do pretty much nearly every single day. So I just think the difference between the heaviness and then, I just think it's great. 
do you think? Next thing we're gonna do is eyebrows. This is another trick that you might have seen from me before, but I just think it's so brilliant. So we're gonna go in with the this side first, and I'm just gonna fill in my eyebrows in a really normal way. I'm gonna follow my brow. Again, I'm not gonna make it just look shit for the sake of it, but I'm just gonna follow my natural brow. And I'm using my Benefit Cabrow, which is like a pomade, probably one of my favorite ways to do my eyebrows, one of my favorite products. And I'm gonna bring that down. I'm gonna feather it through the front of my brow, keeping it quite strong, you know. And then I'm gonna fill the tail. Just like so. So I would say this is a really standard way to fill out brows. I've followed my natural brow. I've kept it a little bit lighter at the front, which a lot of people do now. And I'm just gonna go in with my gimme brow to plump up the hairs in the brow, get them set and fluff them out. This is a pretty normal way to do eyebrows, I think. I think it's really nice. Uh, it's just really standard, just filled them in. On the other side, I'm gonna show you how I use less product in a more precise way to change the shape of my eyebrows and again, lift my face. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in with the same product and I'm just gonna be a bit more strategic. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna define this arch. We're gonna lift the arch up a little bit as well, actually. And then we're gonna drop the front of the brow down. So it kind of goes against everything. You don't want your brow sitting lower, but I actually like to bring the front of my brow down a little bit, which will make the arch and the tip, the end of my brow look higher, okay? So we're gonna go in with a little bit of product. I'm gonna start bringing that down and I'm going down below where the hair stops. And again, I'm gonna flip my brush up and it's not as heavy as well. It's not as much product. Again, we're gonna go through the brow, just like the other side, and we're gonna define the tail. And when I'm doing the tail of my brow, I'm really careful that I don't end up drawing down the way because that's gonna pull everything down again. So we're keeping it all nice and high. And the brush I'm using is just the Benefit dual ended brush. It's got the spoolie on the end, but I like it because it's so dense. It's really, really, like it's quite a stiff brush. So you can be really precise with your product. And again, I'm just gonna bring that down slightly more and just darken it up a little bit. And I'm using the side of the brush to flick upwards. And let's go in with our gimme brow. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go right through the brow. And then a great way to bring up the brow bone even more is to go in with a little bit of concealer. This is the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. I'm gonna go in with a tiny brush and I'm not gonna clean up the front at all. I'm literally just gonna put a touch of that concealer. I'm using my finger just to blend it out into my eyeshadow. And this just gives a matte, subtle highlight and it cleans up the tail of the brow as well. So for me, if I was to look straight on, this brow looks like it sits higher because it's a wee bit further down at the front. Yeah, it's just it's pretty magic. Like the lashes as well make a really big difference. So everything's just been pulled up, which gives the illusion that the whole face is pulled up. Look at that, like I'll zoom you out. Do you see what I mean? This whole side of my face looks lifted, especially with the brow. And the last tip I've got for you is such a bog standard tip that makes a huge difference, uh, is lips and lip liner, and the difference that lip liner makes, which is just the best ever. I think lip liner is one of my favorite products of all time. It's one of my favorite staple makeup products ever. Uh, and I'm gonna use two different Charlotte Tilbury lip liners. One is in the shade Pillow Talk, which is a bit lighter and it's a nice pink. And then this one is called Hot Gossip, which is actually what I wore on my wedding day it's a little bit darker so I'm going to show you how using a lip liner that's a step or two darker than your lip color can really enhance and accentuate your lips this is fun I feel like I'm teaching so pillow talk I'm going to go in on this side and we're going to just line our lips normally I'm gonna make a slight mistake, if you will, on this side, which enhances your lips, but maybe not quite in the way that you would want. So I'm gonna go around the perimeter of my lip and I'm gonna overdraw the whole of my lip. So I'm gonna start here, I'm gonna bring it up, and then I'm just gonna fill my bottom lip kind of normally. So that's my lip lined. I'm gonna do the same on the other side, but I'm gonna show you how I kind of change the shape of my lips, I guess. The most important thing is just knowing where you're overdrawing. So I'm gonna follow my lip line, the natural lip line, up to here. So that's just following my natural lip line. And then for my cupid's bow, I'm gonna enhance it. So I'm gonna go over my cupid's bow and join up. So that immediately gives a, a kind of fuller pout in the middle, which is so pretty and it just works really well. I'm also gonna draw that lip liner onto my lip slightly too. And then on the bottom, the same thing. I'm gonna slightly overdraw right under there and then I'm gonna join it up. 
You can kind of already see that one side of my lips is more defined and the other side is kind of washed out, I guess. And I'm going to go in again. Just really crisp that up. And then for my lip colour, I'm going to use the same colour on both sides and I'm going to show you the difference it makes having a slightly darker lip liner. So this is the Dose of Colours Katie Desi collaboration in the shade Hey Girl. It's just a really nice kind of peachy pink. And I'm going to go in with this side first. So you can see it kind of mostly matches. It's a little bit of a different tone, but that's fine. I'm going to pat that in. But when I do that, you can't really see any definition. Whereas on this side, and then I love to use a finger, just the fingertip to pat that lipstick into the lip liner. So technically you're wearing the same color of lipstick, but this side looks much more defined. There's no harsh lines. The lipstick blends into the lip liner perfect. It's probably only a shade or two darker. It looks much more defined. It looks a little bit fuller as well. And also it looks really natural here, but in the center it's nice and pulled up. The mistake that I made on this side, I call it a mistake. You can do it again, you can do whatever you like. But what I've done that doesn't suit me personally is I overdrew to the corner of my mouth and that gives more the effect of, I suppose a sausage lip. It looks like my lip is just full to the very end, whereas I personally prefer my lips to look natural and then kind of more into a fuller pout in the middle. It's quite brat still. You know, we are, I'm a grown up woman. I'm a, I can be a serious woman, but I still love, I still love looking like a brat still. So you guys, you can see it's so subtle, so subtle. These are all techniques that you can absolutely use in your everyday makeup, which I think is great. Like I said, one side of my face wasn't meant to be like shocking, but I think that the difference it makes it's pretty amazing. I just think that this side of my face looks lifted. It looks slightly more natural, I guess. And everything just looks elevated. Whereas this side is a bit dragged down. It's not terrible, absolutely not. I think it's just really subtle changes to change your makeup. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Let me know if you would like to see more videos like this from me. I can absolutely do that. I've already got a few other tips up my sleeve that I think are so simple and, and not difficult, but they do completely change the way that your makeup looks and the way that your face looks. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Bye. This really is hard because this is going against everything that I do now. <laughs> Pinky blush. Oh god, what is this dog hair doing in my face, man? Whoa! Okay, and for blush, I'm going to go in with another Charlotte Til- I've got another dog hair. I can feel it. I'm really fucking this up. Yeah, I'm really fucking this up. I've got this dog hair. Oh. <laughs> I like this wing. <laughs> I'm not- I don't get- I'm, I'm not mad at it. Oh, I remember the last thing. Like, I cannot- like a fit, mm? <laughs>